Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and we are once again in the repeats redux category of videos. We're looking at mid-measure repeats today, uh, which is sort of complicated, but not really too bad. Um, I'm going to show you sort of the long way around doing this, uh, just so you can kind of understand the concept. But, at, but stay tuned at the end of the video. There's a really, really simple way to do this that I want to show you. So make sure you uh, stay for that, because it's much easier. But uh, let's do it this, the long way first. So. Uh, let's say we want to put a repeat bar halfway through measure two here. So what I need to do is actually split this measure into two measures of two, four in this case. Um, so what we're going to do is use the time signature tool, double click this measure, and what we want to do is change it to two, four. And in this case, we want to rebar music. Make sure that you're only applying this from measure two to two. Uh, and then select the more options and choose use a different time signature for display and make sure that 4-4, the original time signature, is showing here. Uh, and what this will do is it will split the measure into two bars of 2-4, and uh, it won't show that 2-4 time signature change nor the 4-4 time signature change after it. So it just looks like this measure is split in half. From here, it's simply a matter of going back to the repeat tool. We can right click and create our forward repeat bar halfway through the measure. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, there is one extra thing. If you are using bar numbers on every measure, you will want to do something. Actually, if you're mus using bar numbers uh, at all, you're going to want to um, do something with this third bar because now it looks like it's two measures in the bar numbering, but actually it should be one. So we can go to the measure tool here. And in this third measure, what we can do is double click it to pull up the measure attributes. And in this section on behavior, there's an option here called include in measure numbering. Well, if we uncheck that, it will not include it in the measure numbering. And you can see that now it goes bar one, bar two, bar three, right? And so that's kind of how you'd fix that. Now, if you're using a positioning that I am like this, where the measure numbers center on the measure, you probably will have to manually move that uh, bar number into the middle so it uh, kind of looks consistent with everything else. But that's really all there is to it. It's, it's a, a pretty simple uh, couple procedures there. I'm just going to undo this so we can start from scratch. It's slightly more complicated if the uh, repeat goes uh, somewhere else besides the middle. So let's just say this repeat in, uh, in bar 2 goes after the first beat. We kind of start the same way. So go to the time signature tool. In this case, I'm going to choose a 1-4 measure. Uh, rebar music, make sure it's applying only to measure 2. More options, use a different time signature for display, right? Now this will give us basically four measures of 1-4. So we've got the first part of it, but we have to deal with uh, bars 3, 4, and 5 because this really needs to be one bar of 3, 4. So we can just go into the time signature tool again for bar 3, um, make this a be a bar of 3, 4. Again, rebar the music. Make sure it's only applying to uh, 3 through, um, actually it has to be 3 through 5 here because we want it to apply to all three of those bars. And uh, more options. Make sure that uh, use time different time signature for display is set to 4, 4 again. And click OK. And so now we've got this bar split correctly. We it does create two extra bars here in 4 and 5, but that's easy enough to just select those, stack select them, and delete them. And now we have the split in the right spot where we have the 1-4 uh, the measure here and the 3-4 measure, and the time signatures are not showing. And then we can do the same thing with bar 3 here, create the forward repeat bar. And if we're using measure numbers, do the same thing. Measure attributes, uncheck, include in measure numbering. And uh, again, you may need to move that measure number to center it. So that would be how you would have to do that. It's so slightly more complicated if it doesn't go directly uh, in between the measures in, in, uh, in this particular case, but that's, uh, that's exactly how you do that. Now, of course, if there's another repeat in, say, bar four after beat three, you'd sort of have to go through this, this whole process for, for bar four, um, you know, maybe create the three, four bar first and then make the next one a one four. You might have to delete some extra measures. It's sort of the same thing, but uh, that's, that's the general idea of it. All right. Now, I promised to show you a method that's much faster than this. So uh, I will do that now. And this is, it's so brilliant that Finale includes this little plugin. Um, we don't even need to deal with all that stuff. We can just kind of select uh, a partial measure selection, just something like this, uh, where you would want the repeats on either side of this. And then just go to the plugins, go to measures, and go to mid measure repeats and select it. 
and voila, you are done. It does it automatically. Uh, I'm not sure why I added the extra page, but there you go. And you'll see this, that's all there is to it. No fuss, no muss. It's, it's one-stop shopping. It even fixes the measure numbers, although the positioning you will have to uh, adjust if you have your measure numbers in the center of the measure. Um, so that's the only extra thing you'd have to do there. Uh, it even splits the rest, uh, which sort of makes sense, but um, you know that's, that's exactly how to do it. And you, know, you don't have to do mid measures on both sides. You could actually just do, if you wanted to, you know, half, although you do have to be careful with the selection because this would create something weird. So uh, you do have to be careful, uh, make sure you get the exact edge of that. Um, but if you do it this way, you'd only get a mid-measure rest in bar two and not in bar three. Uh, mid measure Oop, it repeats there we go and you know it's 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 really easy and essentially finale is doing exactly what i showed you before so this uh time signature for for uh bar two and three is a two four um with the uh four four using as a different time signature to display so it's doing exactly what i showed you uh except much quicker and all in one step so um so yeah so that's mid measure repeats there's really not much more to it than that Use the plugin. It's um, it does it pretty quickly. Uh, it's called mid measure repeats in the measure section of the plugin, and yeah, that's really all there is to it. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, come back. I've got one more video to do with you. I'm gonna uh, actually show you sort of a, a complicated um, roadmap of repeats in the next video, which will sort of encompass all of the lessons that I've I've taught to you uh, on the in the repeats tool so far. Uh, so it will be a good sort of um, you know, a finish to this series. It will kind of show you some practical uses of how to create some of those more complex roadmaps. So that, that should be fun. All right. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, come back for one last video in the Repeats Redux section. And I appreciate you watching. And I will see you soon on the next video.